hello everyone welcome to another amazing tutorial by amoka Bidding school my name is rhoda founder of amoka Bidding school where we help fashion designers and fashion enthusiasts to understand and monetize fabric embellishment today we'll be learning a simple topic however some people still find issues with it and that's totally fine we're all here to help one another so today we'll be learning how to thread our beading needles believe me this is one of the questions i get the most sometimes in my classes sometimes in our community people always ask what's the easiest way or how do i go about threading my beading needles and most times they ask because beading needles are super thin and the eye of the needle is small so it can be quite difficult to bead now for the purpose of this tutorial and also for all my beadwork i use this particular brand if you don't have this brand it's totally fine you can get a pack of assorted needles and pick out the thin needles to use all right so without further ado let's kick into the tutorial first thing i'm going to do is to take out one needle then take out just one all right Now, next thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to bead, how to thread with your cutting thread because that one is much more difficult to thread than the invisible thread. Now, let me place this here so that we can see what I'll be doing. If you look at the tip of this thread, you will see that it's, it's blunt kind of. So we want to sharpen that edge so that it will be easy to enter the eye of the needle this is how tiny the eye of the needle is that's how tiny it is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this between my teeth and use my teeth to sharpen it kind of like what this scissors is doing right now just to sharpen that edge so i'm going to put this thread in between my teeth and use my teeth to sharpen the edge i'll show you what it looks like this is what it looks like now. So you can see it's a bit flatter than it was before. What I'm going to do next is flatten it even more. And after I've done that, I will trim off the excess there, okay? I'm just going to trim off a bit so that it's flat, as in totally flat. And you can see what it looks like here. It's totally flat, okay? So next thing I'm going to do is... So insert my thread right there in the hole and sometimes like you can see now the thread is coming out it divided itself into two you can dip it in some water and straighten it more and go ahead to do it again so you see how easy it entered it entered very very easily so it's absolutely easy to thread your beading needle very very easy so you pull to your desired length that's how easy it is to thread your beading needle and i would advise you don't just do it once and sit down practice births perfection so the more you practice it the more perfect you will be at it and in no time you'll be able to bead you'll be able to thread your beading needles without any stress i hope you learned something in this tutorial very simple tutorial but very very important and very essential if you learned something please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like this video share it with your friends who are fabric beaders fashion designers etc and if there's anything else you'd like to learn with regards to fabric beading and embellishment, be sure to drop it in the comments. I will try my best to create a tutorial for you. Have a fantastic day. Like and subscribe, please. Thank you.